same kit and they're just two completely different ideas. Right. Yeah. Which is why we all love modeling. Yep. So what we did, we had the two of them next to each other, showing the difference, you know, of the, take the same kit. And he's going to set us up here. How you doing? Yeah. Vince Bosco again. So uh, nice to see you guys here at the Mask RTS. We have to make sure we call it the right show. RTS show. Also known and as the NASCAR show. We still call it NASCAR. We have a hard time. <laughs> and then, so we met our friend Tim from the Classic Plastic Show. And Tim and I were just talking about the same thing from when Doug and I did the uh, 29 comparison. Vinny and I did a thing at Poughkeepsie with, with yeah. his road straight yeah. line made my own fuel injection manifold, but I wanted that engine. I like that look where it just is so much engine stuffed in that little car. Tim said he saw, actually saw that video. Yeah, I was excited when I saw the car on the table because I was dying to see it. So again, the same exact kit, two different styles. One's very modern and one's very old school. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Tell about your car, what you did. It, it's the, the Ravel 29 Ford. I used scrapbooking tape on the seats to get that nice pattern to go with the red. What did you use scrapbooking? Scrapbooking tape for the seats. Look at for that. the pattern on the seats. Yeah. It lays down nice service. and then you put you put a little, um, I used to me a flat clear. It's a little yeah. flat clear over and it holds it all down. Is the scrapbooking tape shiny or is it flat? Some of it's shiny, some of it's flat. It all depends on what pattern you okay. buy. I used some polished rod to make the, the strut in the front and the struts in heat and the, for the radiator. I wired the engine. Other than that, most of it is just out of the box. I you know, made the underneath match. And uh, I used aluminum tips for the exhaust. And I made a custom plate that is an actual mass plate from 1929. That's what they look like. So I made the actual 29 Ford plate for it. And I flock the, the floor, get a little carpet look to it. It's gravity colors paint. Uh, the stuff works fantastic, that, that paint will take their clear. What really caught my eye from across the room when I first saw this, I'm sitting there, and I'm really not usually big on up top, but from across the room, that up top sitting on that car is so perfect with those wheels, yeah. skinny tires. It, it completely changed the look of the car. Yeah. This is a resin cast uh, from Drag City Castings. Yeah. Ed Fluck made it. Yeah. Um, and it just fits on that car. You put that top on, it looks like a completely different car. It's amazing how it changes the look of it. And it, like you say, I agree, it yeah. fits with that. Like on Vince's car, it wouldn't look right at all. But with that yeah. style, I think it, it looks yeah. like that vintage hot rod. It yeah. also looks very East Coast to me that way, too. Yeah. You know, because we have such varied weather here, you know. People in hot rods want to have that protection so they can get yeah. to and from a show. Yeah. You go on a show that it's a hazy day with a chance of rain, you want that top, you know, just to get it home so yep. it doesn't get all dirty, you know. Yeah, it was a fun kit to build. Uh, the, the other thing I did that I kind of like is I left the wheels flat red instead of clearing them, so it gives it kind of a contrast. Instead of the shiny body with the, the shiny wheels, the flat makes it a little different. You know, gives a little more. I think it makes the caps stand out more. Right, right. And I think it makes the, the the shine on the body stand out a little bit more too. It's not you're not distracted by overpowered wheels. You know, yeah, those those tires, the sheen on the tires. Is just yeah, you know what it is? Pledge floor polish. Really? I put it on a little rag and I just go around it when I'm all done and it gives yeah. it just right. If you clear coat them, they look too shiny. If you leave them, they look too dull. That puts just enough on there that makes it look that guy going to the car show gives him a wipe down. And, uh, yeah. How did you make the license plate? Uh, the license plate actually was not made by me. It's a guy that I know, his name is Mike. It's called Best Model Car Parts. Yeah. He does all decals for dashboards for all your gauges, and he does uh, custom plates. I contacted him and said, this is what I need. Because he does all current plates, so I said, if I wanted something special, could you do it? He goes, yeah, just tell me what you want. I said, I need mass 29 plates. So he sent me a picture, he goes, this is what they look like. He goes, your car's red. I said, I don't care, I think it, it kind of fits it, it's 29. 
And those plates back then, I mean, most plates now are what, 12 inches? Yeah. Those are probably like 14 inches. Yes, they were longer. Right? Yeah. He's got it right to scale. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Still be good. yeah. That's it. It's a nice model. It's fun to build. I just love the contrast of how different the two models are in the same box. I mean, that's what gets us excited as builders. We all could buy the same kit and come up with a completely different way of how it should look. I mean, how dramatic. It's so different. There's so many things I love about yours and there's things I love about mine and that's what makes it, you know, yeah, yeah.